Okay, so what's up, guys? I'm back with Hitman, and now we're gonna be attempting the Bangkok mission. We're here to attempt that. Now we played in the previous video, obviously the Sapienza mission, but we are back, so let's get right into it. Also, I think uh, this is exactly how Hitman should have been from the right from the beginning. Not beginning, but you know, blood, money, and everything should have been like this. But better late than never, they did a great job and I'm happy with it. That's all I'm gonna say. And the next gen concept of this is just icing on the cake. Okay, so now we have to go. Oh my god, I thought it was Bangkok, but it's Morocco. But hey, so this video will probably be named Morocco and not, you know, Bangkok. So let's see the briefing now. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. I love how we should be able to do it easily and it is probably the same shit but i love how she said that the nation is at stake and blah 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 i can still just go walk into that place and shoot everybody up and shoot this guy in the head and i'll be no problem and i will be moving on to the next mission but hey you know just for the sake of having a great story she said that you know i should probably not even get into it Okay, so, okay, so yeah, obviously we are attempting this mission for the first time. So actually looking at the area, I think he's in a building and he's in on the second or third floor, I don't know. But we can possibly snipe him because he was standing near the window. So I'm gonna, you know, smuggle the sniper rifle, that's obvious. And we're gonna start at the bazaar entrance. Okay, I, we cannot start at anywhere else. So let's play it now. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. I mean, I have to say everything apart, everything about this game apart, and his like everything is on one side and his dressing sense is on the other i mean just look at his suit it's so dashing i mean the bald look everything just suits him perfectly like nobody would think that he's a cold-blooded serial killer contract killer i mean would you would you do that he just looks like uh, uh i think a gangster type also i wanted to say that hitman movies i don't really like hitman movies i think some games should you know should stay at stay as games but you know that's all about that's all about personal preference but honestly i didn't like any of the hitman movies i think that with need for speed being a game and made into a movie that was quite a good job 
because they only had to show racing and they you know kind of excelled at it that same thing cannot be said said about hitman you know so obviously i cannot equip the sniper rifle right now i think i may be needing a disguise as that guy because in absolution you were allowed to have weapons and as long as you have a disguise of a you know security guard we can probably take his disguise if we just throw a coin right there provided that there is a brick wall at the end of that oh no oh no okay so we can make this look like an accident as you can see there is a switch and some water okay so you know this is probably too good to be true because somebody would notice us as you can see that guy just walked in from behind so you know it just seems a little bit too good to be true i saw another soldier back there i think i'm going to try to subdue him this one i think yes this one was it okay so if that room is empty i'm going to try to attract him to this room okay so let's take that coin let's just hope that nobody else gets attracted by it no no okay so she's just going to stand here huh that's amazing S simply amazing greetings what this isn't my shop the shop owner is not here fuck off no oh god I, i have to stop swearing every time okay so that guy went away i'm going to probably skip to the part where i actually get his disguise so stay tuned for that hey buddy and also i see on the map that exactly here is where my sniper rifle is placed so conveniently short circuit why would i short circuit a phone you know doesn't make any sense okay so i can probably because there is a trash can here i can probably you know attract him to this place okay so okay so even if i throw the coin he will be the only one who will be attracted by that coin what stay put find something to hide behind oh please you might need something to hide behind so we can disguise as him now take the sniper rifle and probably kill klaus if one second let me see where those guys are okay so we're going to follow him now follow that guy i don't know if klaus is there or there i don't know so we'll have to check and also we have to look for a sniping spot these rooftops could be perfect just have to find a way inside ah come closer i have everything okay so there are stairs so that's perfect okay so we're on the rooftops now oh shit we just have to sedu her hello recruit okay so she doesn't seem to mind us so i think that should stay oh wait he's right there oh no 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 bro no bro no bro where is he where is he he's in his room i cannot see him okay so he's behind that wall we need to wait for him to move so we can snipe him also i think this might be too late to think about but uh, actually i think my sniper rifle is not silenced because i don't see any silencer on it 
Okay, so he's there. Okay. Come on. Okay, I almost had it. Target down. Next up. And it's that easy. Zidane. It's that freaking easy. Straight shot. Yeah. Okay. So I have actually have a good friend of mine. Actually, he's not my good friend. He's my brother. Kind of. You know, the spoken brother. He would love to see me, you know, kill by a sniper. And I'm so happy that this was an unnoticed kill. So probably I'm not gonna kill that other guy by sniper rifle, although I would love to see if I could. Also, I would like to mention that this sniper is probably silenced because of the sound it made that sound a gun only makes when it is silenced so yeah okay so that guy's over there so he's probably not on some building or something so we cannot assassinate him by you know shooting shooting him but i think we should probably look around for an opportunity to pop up i think Hello. I'm a freaking soldier. How can he talk to me like that? I'm gonna punch him in his nose and he'll start bleeding. Bleeding and crying like a baby. I would love to see that though. But anyways. Okay, so I'm looking everywhere. I don't see any opportunity. Oh shit, he's so close by. Salam! I am so honored by your visit. How's your father? Doing well, thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? doesn't seem to be able to park the damn thing, but that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous... The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Okay, that's interesting. So the Zaydan is using that school, so I this understand. is probably a school... Right. Right ahead. Maybe my carpets are magical. <laughs> Give your old man some credit, Marwan. Okay, so we need to wait. Might surprise now. you yet. Obviously, anyway, we See you can be though. Yep, up, up and away. Okay, so he didn't say anything. I think we are soldiers, so we are allowed anywhere. I think this is the, you know, terrorist type government. I don't know what's that called. A terrorist type government is what I'm gonna go with. So you know what I mean, but I think that's why we are allowed to walk in with this uniform. Okay, so he's probably that headmaster. Can we take his disguise though? Okay, so we need to hide him now. And hide him quick. Can we disguise as him? Okay. So we disguised as a headmaster, now we probably need to drop the gun. Okay, so that, I didn't think of this earlier, but that guy can probably spot us because, you know, the head ma he's the headmaster's son and you can obviously spot the difference between some bald guy and your bald father. So we can probably hide the gun here, I think. No, oh, wait, we can climb this. Oh, are you saying what I think you're saying? Are you saying that I can kill that guy? Oh, so this is actually a secret way into the into the headmaster's house. Okay, I get it now. Oh wait, this is actually interesting. Oh, damn! I have a straight shot. Oh God. Where is he though? 
Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Both targets down. Crime Damage notice. An exit. The fuck? Okay. So I need to probably leave my sniper rifle here. Okay, so I think I mean wait, what is that? Pick up battle axe. Okay, so this is the battle axe. I think when we revisit this game, I will probably use this battle axe, but you know. Okay, so guys, I have to say we made some huge discoveries and this mission ended so smoothly. I mean, I can't even say. I think I should have dragged it a bit. I don't know. But hey, this was amazing. Whatever it was, it was amazing. Now we probably need to disguise as this guy as a soldier so let's go okay so it says searching now they're probably looking for a headmaster looking guy a guy who looks like the headmaster and we are the soldiers so they wouldn't recognize us I mean, I have to say, I'm not satisfied with this mission. I think I need to revisit, revisit it. I'll probably revisit this if I don't. I will at least revisit this mission if I don't revisit any others. Hey, but yeah, this was interesting. I mean, you could kill him during, by an opportunity. You could kill him with a sniper, unlike you know, unlike those previous missions. I think in the Paris mission, you could kill him with the sniper, but you know. But in Sapienza mission you couldn't, but this was an all-round mission. I think this is my favorite mission out of the three. But Bangkok and everything is still left, so we'll see about that also. But this mission is done, guys. I, I'm so happy that, it's, that it is done in one video. And we got to kill both of these men by sniping. By sniping them. I mean, we actually pretty much used one of the specialities of Hitman. Agent 47. So let's see this video now. Compromised, but I I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But his plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. If it seems like a conspiracy, it probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. Okay, so what I gathered from that cutscene is that there is a story after all and this cop guy is the ultimate villain he was you know with the uh, providence and now seems to have a different agenda altogether but you know this is a season based game I don't know why they did that but I think I mean they did a pretty good job with the game so you cannot really complain about the season basis I think you would all agree with me but you know we will find out uh, about Cobb, I think, 
in the few next episodes but definitely in the next season but so this episode is done guys and so is this video and take care guys have a great day and i will see you in the bangkok mission